The Cam Jackson affair was a very interesting affair, but all in all, it solidified the Union's control of Missouri and showed that Missouri was not going to join the Confederates. The two sides leading up to the battle were the Confederates and the Union, and both had fairly interesting uh, roles in leading up to the battle and what occurred on both sides. On the Confederate side, there was Claiborne Jackson, who was a secessionist, and Missouri voted 99-1 to 1 against secession from the Union, but he made a fait accompli for Missouri to join the Confederates, which is basically where, even though everybody in Missouri voted 99-1, to 1, before everybody could figure that out, he goes, oh, psych, and he just, like, make them join anyway. And so he wrote Jefferson Davis about having guns and artillery to hold at Camp Jackson. Uh, so he made Camp Jackson as a base for his army near St. Louis, and that's how Camp Jackson was created. On the Union side, there was Nathaniel Lyon, and the federal troops in like Missouri were mostly German, and that's supposed to say slavery, but... A lot of the troops in Missouri at the time, or in St. Louis, were immigrants, and they all hated slavery because a lot of them were, like, Irish, and a lot of the Irish hated slavery, and most of the troops were also volunteers, and interesting about Nathaniel Lyon is supposedly he snuck into Camp Jackson wearing women's clothes to be undetected by the uh, Confederates, which... It's odd, but I mean, I guess it worked. And before the battle, or quote-unquote battle, happened, he suspected Jackson was going to uh, attack Arsenal because he figured out he had been writing to Jefferson Davis about having guns and artillery in Camp Jackson. So he shipped his guns to Illinois for safety because Illinois was part of the Union at the time. Now, as the battle goes, there wasn't necessarily a battle. Uh, one night, the Union's just surrounded Camp Jackson and General Frost of the Confederates had to surrender immediately because he knew he was not going to get anywhere and that's pretty much what happened with the battle. So the aftermath which is basically part of the battle and the whole affair itself was that when the uh, federal troops were marching the uh, the militia back from Camp Jackson a lot of the civilians got very angry and started throwing things at the federal troops and eventually assaulting them. And then somebody fired a gunshot. Nobody knows who actually fired it to this day. And a massacre started. 28 citizens were killed and a few federal troops and a few militia members as well. The importance of Camp Jackson was that it solidified the Union's control of St. Louis and uh, also solidified Union's control as a whole because Missouri was a borderline state it was a slave state, but then it was kind of borderline, and then it eventually turned into a Union state. And it was also very vital for Missouri joining the Union during the uh, Civil War.